Okay, cards, so basically done, and great start to the morning despite not wanting to get out of bed. <laughs> Baby, keep the light on for me, I'm coming home. No, I got you for wherever I go. I feel like I'm high. Oh, and I wouldn't change the way you got me jumping through hoops. All the wishes in the world, and I wish for you. I feel like I'm dying. Oh, and I found heaven. I'm gonna ask George to make me breakfast so I don't get sidetracked by cleaning the whole apartment. Cause if I make eggs, I'm gonna be like, oh, let me clean the living room. Oh, okay, now let me make the bed. And it'll be like 45 minutes later that I come back into the office. Just simple eggs. Cheese. Mm, okay. All right, okay, it's done, which means it is time to brain dump all my thoughts, plan out my day in my digital planner. And then study till 12. Focus study till 12. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of practice questions in. Let's see if I can get this right without looking. Um, okay, rotator cuff muscles is six, so sub supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. The one that does abduction is supraspinatus. The two that do, well, okay, the one that does internal rotation is subscapularis, and then the other two do external rotation. Infraspinatus, teres minor, yes. Okay, so <laughs> that's like some things I worked on. Clumpkey's palsy is claw, CHT1. Herb's palsy is when you have an outstretched neck, and that is C5, C6. Cool. Okay, so I was reviewing week two stuff and went super well. There's still like a lot of, I don't know, like just knowing more muscle functions, and I don't even care about it insertions like I wrote it down for the rotator cuff muscles but like there's no way they're gonna like half the final is gonna be insertion or attachment anyway I don't think I mentioned this but it's Thursday tomorrow is our MSK final and I'm excited I think like if you heard my whole spiel after the, my last final where I was like man like I just want to take one final and feel good about it guys this is gonna be the final so reviewed week two stuff um Four hours of class from one to five, and I'm going to review week three stuff, which is lower limbs after class. Well, first after class, I have to take the end of week for this week because they let us take it at home on the final weeks. And then after that, hopefully I'll get in week three review, and then tomorrow, probably just a lot of week two and three review because it kind of like, as you review those weeks, week one is also like smushed in there kind of. So and rheumatoid stuff. Well, maybe that's tomorrow because there's a bunch of qu practice questions for the rheumatoid stuff, like gout, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. There's like a ton of practice questions. So I think that'd be good for tomorrow morning, but really, really got the upper limb down fairly well. So I'm gonna walk up with all that good stuff, get ready for class and whew. Spring break is almost, oh yeah, also I'm going to Cancun Sunday. So like literally finishing this final is going to be the most rewarding thing ever because it's just a couple days away from spring break. So I'm so excited. <laughs> we could be driving fast with your feet on the dash. You're riding by my side, leaving all our fears in the past. And anyway, you want to see what we could be on the map. It's only you and me, nothing to prove for me. Yeah. Guys, I am so excited. I just got back from campus. It is 8 and I've just had a really productive two weeks like last week and this week have been great and it's like paying off I did so well on the end of week quiz this evening the last one 
of the block we always take like on our own time at home. I took it on campus and I only missed like four questions. I think it's like an 88, but I don't know like the official score. And I'm just like so pumped. Like, and we had four hours of lecture. I paid attention in lecture. I paid attention in small group, which is like a miracle. <laughs> And I feel like this end of block final for MSK is going to be like the least stressful one yet where I like maybe don't feel like I failed and I don't have all those like regretful thoughts of like the whole balance thing, you know, if you know, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about. But I'm just so excited. I'm just, yeah. And I studied like a few hours this morning and like, I don't know, I'm just pumped. So anyway, it's dinner time. We're going to have chicken, rice, and veggies. I'm screaming now and never To people I don't know Yesterday How was it? Mm. Not too bad. <laughs> You're such a dork. A little spice to it. I'm pretty sure it's like 10.30, hence this is the reason I don't wake up at 5 when I, and I hit snooze on my alarm a million times like every day these days. I'm watching Iron Man this evening and I was just like, I was aware when I was 9 and I should have went to bed and I didn't and that's what I'm like doing all the time. And that's, yeah, no wonder I can't wake up at 5. <laughs> anyway, um, if you watched the last vlog. I've already finished ready. I'm on my third Colleen Hoover book. Holy moly, it was so good. I couldn't put it down. It was like dark, twisty, romance. Like, I had to get to the end. I finished it in four days. It was so, so good. And I feel like this is going to be a good one. And I was so excited. So I'm just going to read like a quick chapter and go to bed. Because tomorrow I want to have another productive morning. Study as much as I can before the final. And then freedom. <laughs> okay, good night. How you love me electric like you do Love it how you love me electric Always you Alright guys, it is the last few hours before my exam I kind of wish that I had gotten through those gout practice questions Well not just gout, like the rheumatoid whatever it is On like, I think I saw it on Boards and Beyond Boards and Beyond or Osmosis has a big section of practice questions like kind of wish I did that last night instead of watching a movie but I don't know like my brain was pretty fried so it probably wouldn't have went well anyway because I also want to do lower legs so I don't know I'm gonna whip through Anki Anki and uh there's not many cards and then I'll just do a mixture of the rheumatoid stuff and lower leg and I'll show you guys what we're learning because that's always fun to share <sighs> and I got my toes for shoes my motivation to get out of bed. <laughs> Guys, okay, so light distraction from cool milestone that we just hit. Holy moly, 10K on Instagram. That's wild. Wild. Fun fact, I quit this Instagram account for like at least four months. I was like, nobody watches my posts. I'm never going to have followers. Like, blah, 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 blah. And then like for some reason I started again and now we're at 10K. Holy moly. Okay, anyway, I need to get off my phone. That's just really cool. Um, I got Anki done, now practice questions. <laughs> okay, this is an example of things we need to know. This is something I feel like was really good to review because I wasn't good at like the lower, knowing the spinal, what each nerve does. I don't know, okay, so for example, this patient in this question has his Achilles reflex is intact, which means S1. So this is a table that we have from lecture, like week one lecture. So S1, if that's messed up, you'll, you won't have a normal like reflex, Achilles reflex, and this person does. So what he does have is like his dorsiflexion is messed up like that. And so dorsiflexion, you have to know that that is L5 dorsiflexion, or ankle dorsiflexion and toe dorsiflexion. So the answer is L5. 
that's an example of some of the week one stuff that we went over and I think that stuff is like really cool so if it's like plantar flexion that's s2 or foot plantar flexion s1 and e version toe plantar flexion would be s2 according to this table and then bow and bladder and continence would be s2 s3 so if those nerves are yeah as it exits like in between the discs in our spine if it gets pinched there those are the symptoms so i think that's so fun i'm gonna miss msk a lot um but also that was really good to review a couple more things i'm gonna review i will like i always write up a list of things that i know like i'm weak at but like is so gonna pop up so like i need to review really quickly the tmj muscles here's my little list that i made you can't see it okay tmj muscles because that was the thing week one i think that's it I don't have time for much else. I should, like, I wish I could have looked at the plex, the lumbar sacral plexus and brachial plexus, but, like, I know the symptoms of, like, one of the things with myself, so I don't think it'll be a huge thing. I don't know. Maybe I'll just look at it really quick. But definitely TMJ muscles. That's why I'm doing it real quick. four minutes to not be late for this thing. Why is this me every single time? <laughs> It'll be fine though. Wish me luck. I'm so, okay, this is gonna be the best freaking final yet. And even if it's not, it's okay because all that matters is that I passed, feeling good. Got this, guys. <laughs> Wired in the moments like I'm walking on air Tripping over roses every time that you're there I'm losing my mind Oh, and I'm hot over the moon You know that you got me good I'm not even mad I need you more than I should I feel like I'm dying Guys, it's officially spring break! <laughs> I'm so, so excited I'm Slightly sad because MSK I really did like But it's spring break We're going to Cancun I'm so pumped I have like a million things to do. Tests went well. I like flagged a lot of questions, but then when I went back, I'm like, yeah, it has to be that. Like, it's fine. I have a to-do list waiting for me. I'm like answering questions on Instagram and um, hungry. Oh, so many things. I have to, I have until 2.30 and then I'm gonna hang out, go shopping with my friend. I might wanna work out. I don't know. Let's see, let's, I don't know. <laughs> my brain is scattered right now. <laughs> All right, guys, I cannot even tell you how hungry I am. I don't want to have sushi alone. Like, there's too much to celebrate, like passing MSK. Oh, passed MSK. Um, so, got my, yeah, I got like a 76. The passing was 72. So, doing my goal of studying just enough to pass. Um, really pumped about that. Anyway, went shopping with friends. Got lots of cute tank tops for Cancun. This is like a really cute. Okay, you know what? I'll try one for you later. <laughs> I need to eat. I got a lot of wait, but I really want to show you now. Look at these from American Eagle. They're cuter color than this is showing. And look how cute and funky these sunglasses are. I only really like one style. So I was like, I tried something like different that I wouldn't normally get. Or oh, trying to hold both. Look how cute. <laughs> I love, I love. Ugly is very interested right now. <laughs> um Anyway, and the rest is crop tops other than this like cute little billabong romper overall thing that I can't. Okay, sorry, this is pitiful. George and I are gonna go get sushi. I'll show you a couple of the things we got. Past MSK, hit 10K on Instagram today. What a freaking good day, but I'm like truly ravenous. Like I'm dying, I can't even function. I got up to brush my teeth and then I picked up the camera to show you my clothes. Like what? <laughs> I need food. <laughs> I know a girl is so fine, she's running laps around my heart. She's more than perfect, she's not the type to go play a part. She came and killed my whole life, and just like Mike Tyson, now I'm here seeing stars. I could take all of my time just trying to describe. All right, post final thoughts first. I told you I was gonna make a binder, and not quite a binder. This actually worked out better because it's like way less clunky than a binder. But I did, for week three at least, I wasn't super consistent, but it was really helpful to chunk the information in this. And then I could have, like, 
And I did. I like one night handed this to George and I was like, quiz me on the leg muscles. And he just went through and it's so, so good. So like for the thigh, we had to know, sorry for the leg, we had to know the anterior, medial and posterior thigh, the leg, the muscles plus arteries and innervation. And then the, there's anterior, lateral and posterior, superficial and deep le leg. This is thigh, this is leg. <laughs> Um, innervation and arteries. So I, I handed this to George, it's all chunked, and we like went through it and it was really, really helpful. So this, remember my goal from last post-finals thoughts? I'm so, that's the most proud, I'm, I'm very proud of that. Okay, second reflection is that hearing what cl other classmates do can kind of totally get to you. Like when I hear what other people do to study, it like freaks me, like I have a good study routine, but I remember like maybe like in the fall more so, people were like, oh, I do this, oh, I do this, and I'm like, <laughs> Like, I just don't even like hearing it. Like, I'm, cause I don't do that and it works fine for me, but it's fine, but it's like, still weirds me out. For this final, like, three different instances, inst instances, I told a classmate, like, oh, hey, sorry, I can't go to that thing. Like, George's nephew's in town. Like, I would totally go otherwise. And they were like, oh, I'm not even going. Like, I'm studying all weekend. And then I was like, trying to, I knew I wouldn't. Like, I was trying to find a friend to go shopping with Sunday and study yesterday. And, but one friend was like skiing Saturday and I tried to convince them and they're like, no, I'm skiing Saturday. I need to study Sunday. Like, and then over the weekend around 10 AM, I was walking all the way and I saw a classmate walking into the library and they were like, oh, I'm going to study. So anyway, all those things made me think like, hey, maybe I should just study on the weekends. Like everybody else is studying and stressing out. And like, I know that this works, but like, <laughs> like when everybody else is stressing around, out around you, like it. It just gets to you. It makes you want to stress out or think that you should be stressing out and you're worried you're going to fail because you're not stressing out. But it's fine. I had those feelings. But truly, like my little routine, Monday through Friday, study in the mornings, maybe Thursday evenings um, if I'm going to be productive, but no weekends. Like it works for me. I passed MSK, guys. It's possible. So just like I'm sure many of you have been in those instances or will be and like just know if something works for you, don't let like other people saying they're doing something different like stress you out or make you feel stressed. You don't have to be stressed in med school, I promise. But it's really easy to when like everybody around you is and like, but it's also okay to stress because we wanna do well. There's nothing bad about it. Just, yeah, it's easy to compare, but don't let it stress you out too much. Anyway, those are my post final thoughts. And now you can totally watch uh, another vlog at this point if you haven't seen them all, or if you wanna see my spring break clothes, you can uh, stay for that. And I'll know for future if there's a big dip, <laughs> not to do shopping hauls, or maybe you guys will stay for it and like it, and I'll do more in the future, okay? <laughs> okay, first is this dress, because the dinner places have like a bit of a dress code. Uh, I don't think you have to be fancy, but I wanted to get some like fancier dresses and it's like a little too big. I would have went a size down, but they didn't have the next size down. So I love it too much to take it back though. It's so cute. Okay. And really going all out for this one. I actually have this in pink and red. Still trying to decide which one. I'll show you the pink. I think I might be leaning towards red. It's very nice. <laughs> okay. I'm obsessed with this color, but it kind of like blends into my skin tone. So I'm still really torn because I love this color. But, ah, that's so cute. Anyway, all three of the dresses from Amazon, shockingly, because I wasn't convinced I'd find anything shopping. So, yeah, still deciding between pink and red. I don't know, probably red, maybe. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite find from yesterday, from Nordstrom, which is weird to me because it's Billabong, but very cute. The best, love it. Okay. And besides the dresses, I loaded up on crop tops, this being one of them, which is like really cute and soft and nice from Abercrombie. And then this is my favorite. I really wanted neon. So Forever 21 has a lot of good stuff in this cute little slit here. It was very cheap. It was like $14 after tax. And then Hollister, I got two cheap crop tops. So again, another neon color. I don't usually go for color. so. But I don't know why I want to be super, super summery, but I like really wanted neon. So Hollister for that one. And then this like, okay, not neon, but like it was a cute little halter top. So, and these were like, I got both these from Hollister for $30 and this was 40. So this wasn't like a good deal, but it's so soft and nice that I really liked it. Anyway, ready for spring break, <sighs> but I have a lot to do today before we actually leave tomorrow morning. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow along on Instagram. If you're watching this when it comes out, 
Road to Acceptance enrollments will be opening very, very soon. So check that out, link below. And can't wait to see you in the next vlog.